Okay, we're back. Um, so now we're going to tackle the update wave function. Look at how massive this function is about to be. Ready? Wave number plus plus spawn enemies wave number done. Okay, so it's a little bit of sarcasm, but uh, there we go. That's the update wave function. Um, that is just about everything as, that you need for those spawning enemies. Um, there's one more thing, um, basically, that I left out uh, that we will need uh, to make sure that it doesn't um, that it actually waits. Um, we gotta do a little boolean, uh, sneaky boolean action, but um, it's nothing crazy. Basically, um, where is it? Looking through this. Butter, 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 butter. Sorry, it's taking so long. You know, what, I'll pause it. Control shift. Okay. Yep. So basically. Uh, we're gonna have a, volume, uh, a boolean value called is spawning and set it equal to you know false at the beginning. Basically, right right in here, um, we're gonna set it that is spawning um, equal to true, um, and then right at the end when it's done, you know, spawning them all because it loops through the for loop continually until they're all spawned. It'll we're gonna set it equal to um, false. So now that that's set up, um, here's where basically you in the start um, when this first the script first starts, we're gonna first call um, spawn enemies with uh, wave number, which is one, um, and then basically uh, if we're gonna set up a if statement in the update function, basically saying if the enemy comment is ever equal to equal to zero and it's not uh, is spawning um, so is spawning is equal to false uh, we update the wave so basically the enemy counter will be five at the start like when it f finished fully up 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 uh, you know instantiates all the enemies or it could be you know whatever because every any time you kill the uh, kill an enemy, you we're gonna de decrement the the enemy counter because the enemy counter is basically just keeps track of all the enemies that it uh, not only spawned um, but also uh, ha that are in the world um, from that wave. So when we kill an enemy, we're going to minus that by one so once it hits zero all the enemies are killed the wave you beat the wave so we're gonna update the wave and go to wave two and then it'll start spawning ten enemies versus you know instead of five um, so basically it's pretty simple but um, that's how that's how it works so um, I'm just gonna save that out so this is pretty much the entire um, script. Now, implementing it, I uh, will. I'll show you um, in in the next. Well, actually, I'll show you right now. But you know, won't, we won't be able to change the waves yet because we can't actually kill uh, any any of the enemies. But that's that'll be the next tutorial. Um, where basically I'll add the actual shooting of the gun, the gun script, all that, so we can you know start actually playing the game. Uh, so right now, to actually implement it and how it, it works, um, create you know a we'll just do one we'll just call it uh, spawn one. This will be the first spawn. Um, hmm. um, and parent it to spawner. Now, um, basically. Uh, no, actually, don't back to spawn. 
Look at that. Look at that. Um, screw that. Delete that. Um, go in here and basically create a bunch of uh, empty scum like spawn point one spawn um, and duplicate them a bunch of times um, and move them around you know be like okay I want one over here um, but make sure they're you know above the floor um, and not outside of the the map because if you spawn an enemy outside of the map you'll see after I create the when we create the uh, the enemy spawn script um, you'll know when you spawned one out of the map you'll see the distance like jump to like a million um, like that and right there that was messed up but basically you get the point um, so now if you we look at the spawner we can change the size of the array, the spawn point array, to 4. And basically when we do that, you'll see this all these transforms pop up. Now, what you can do is you can basically drag in that spawn, uh, this spawn, etc, etc, okay? And that, that will hold all those transforms in their positions. And basically, with the spawn script, what we said was to do a ran to spawn us at a, one of these, at a random, um, spawn in this array so we'll pick one of these spawn points and spawn in now the enemies you can have you know as many as you want you can have 30 and that's crazy but uh, we're probably just gonna have one but however many you want to have it's fine um, and then you just take a game object um, like an enemy you know the enemy prefab that we're gonna create and drag it right onto there and then it'll spawn that at these these positions and here's the yield time and here's the offset, etc., etc. And here's its spawning. We probably should have made that private, but um, you know, you get the point. So next tutorial, uh, I'll be going over basically um, shooting. I'll set up the gun script. Um, we'll set up the enemy AI, and then it'll all come together when we start the spawn script and get everything working with the GUI as well because we're going to have GUI that basically for debug, debug purposes that will show us um, the you know stats of the enemies and wh what's going on with them at all times so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching